Now welcome back guys to my another part of buttons android tutorial. Now in the last video we saw some coding part. Now in this video let us do one thing guys let us drag and drop another button. Let us drag and drop a button right here. Now guys when you drag and drop a button inside the text tab the codes are automatically generated. Now suppose if there are 10 or 20 buttons in the same layout then you might face confusion which button belongs to what. So let's do one thing guys inside the design tab let us right click on this button and simply go to declaration. Yes so our cursor is in front of you this cursor is blinking at this button. So the button that we clicked on is actually this button. Now guys there is one more option on the right hand side here is the option of preview. So let's click on this preview. So here it is going to show you the preview of the codes on the left hand side right. So if you click on this button then also it is going to show you the blue tag showing you that the button click is actually this button right. So let's click on this first button. Now it is going to show you the button clicked is actually this button right. So let's do one thing guys let us change the ID of our second button. Let's say second button right. Now make sure guys the IDs of these two buttons are always different because these IDs are always useful to distinguish between the two buttons right. So let's make it let's make it as B second button and also let's change the text let's say second button right. So and also guys these codes guys you don't have to worry about these codes you don't have to remember any of the codes right in front of you. Just follow my tutorials and be sure that at the end of this video series you are going to be an android developer right. Now let us define our second button. Let's initialize our second button M second button right. So let us complete our initialization. Let's say M second button again hint is there. Again find view by id r dot id dot b second button fine now again alt enter cast it right now let us link our button to the listener let's say set on click listener main activity dot this fine now inside the on click method whenever the button is clicked this method is executed now guys how to distinguish between these two buttons as we know if you are going to click the second button also then again. Now let's do one thing guys let us run our application at this point of time and let's see the output. So here our application is again up and running. Now let's click on this my first button. So first button clicked. Now let's click it again again yes same output is coming. Now let us click on this second button. Here we go again the first button clicked is getting called. Yes pretty disgusting now how to distinguish between these two buttons. So as you can see inside our on click method we are having what some variable view space v right. So let us do one thing guys let us write a switch statement fine. So v dot get id now inside it we are going to write the case statement now guys this v is nothing but this v right. So this v is so this v is the object of the view so view dot get id it is going to return the id of the button fine. So let us write the case r dot id dot b first button again break statement. Now our second case is for second button r dot id dot b second button right again write the break statement pretty simple. Now let us cut this statement from here and paste it here. Now again paste it here and again change the text as second button clicked. Now guys always keep your codes clean so let us remove the redundant space right fine. So now guys we are having the switch case statement. Now inside the first case is the case of the first button. Now when the first button is going to be clicked this statement is going to be executed and similarly for the second button 
this statement is going to be executed. Oops, I did something wrong. Let's say B second button. Yeah, right. So at this point of time, let us run our application and let's see the output. So here our application is again up and running. Now let's click on this first button. So as usual, first button click is getting called. Now let's click on the second button. Bam! Second button click is called in the lock cat and it's printed. So guys, in this way guys, you can distinguish between two different buttons. So in case you are having lots of buttons, 10 buttons or 20 buttons, then please don't worry. Simply increase the case statement and break statement. Fine. So this is all for this video guys. Please comment, subscribe and share this video and support us in a way you can. Thank you.